Good afternoon. I'm Cheryl Cheadle. I work for the Oklahoma Conservation Commission in the Blue Thumb Water Quality Education Program. And the Blue Thumb team is using this kind of unusual time where we're all trying to keep a distance during the COVID-19 moments of time. We are trying to use this time to possibly do some educational type work that we really haven't jumped into very, very much before. Because typically when we're doing education work, it is outdoors and it is with people frequently in a stream but we've got some challenges right now so we're trying to make the most of those challenges so what i'm going to talk to you a little bit about today is about runoff and the way that rain and other precipitation works with the land and why that is so important for our drinking water for the streams and rivers that go through our communities for power generation for the cattle for crops to grow, for our wildlife to use. We're just gonna talk a little bit about that. We are out at a park in South Tulsa County, and I want you to be aware, you're gonna hear the ambient noises of life going on. There's less right now during the coronavirus, but there's still things happening. But here at this park, you see lots and lots of green, and Rebecca, you might just wanna take a look at the beautiful world that we have in front of us. They can move over just in case they call. You can hear lots of birds in this park. This is Morris Park, but we sometimes call it Goldfinch Park because we've seen so many beautiful goldfinches here. And what I'm going to show you a little bit about is how you can make a model to use with students, to use with family to use with other adults, but I'm gonna show you a little bit about making a runoff model that will help you better understand the way the earth works and that will help you better understand the different land uses that fall upon the, the surface of the earth and how that impacts infiltration and runoff because these are two pretty important concepts that are almost a part of an urban ecology as well as understanding out in the country. So I'm going to start with showing you a little bit about how we're going to make these models. Now our models start with just a simple pop bottle. So I've taken the label off of my bottle and this is just a bottle. I, I didn't go out and buy Dr. Pepper particularly for this cause. This is something I had at home. And so for my, for my openings, I use a template. I have already folded my template like what I need. So I am, f and I don't even tape it on. Now I'm changing my template up just a little dab. Nothing's gonna be hurt by that. Moved it forward just a little, because that was better. Now, this is what I'm gonna cut out. And I happen to have, not everybody is going to have a knife made for them by a wonderful friend that has an antler handle. Anyway, I did, and it was sharp and professionally, so I feel like I'm going to be able to do this really well. All right, so. My first, my first chunk is taken from the bottle. I didn't do that good a job. I did a much better job with these. I don't know why. I think that maybe the knife I used last night could have been a little sharper. Ooh, I hate to say that. Okay, now my template, remember the template? I'm now, my template has some folds in it. It's still the same template, but it's a little bit smaller, and now it's for the bottom. I want to be sure that I have it right in the center so that I have some integrity from the structure of the bottle. So I'm gonna draw yet again, I'm gonna draw on my template. And the one that goes on the bottom is gonna be a little bit smaller because this bottle is kind of flimsy and we need to be able to create this so that the screening material that we put on the bottom 
so that we can glue it on and there's enough to the sides to hold that in place. So, here I go. All right, now this is pretty cool. I have cut out two. Hey, Miss Cheryl, what is it that well, you're Kim, doing? Kim, I am working on making a runoff model. I believe you've heard of these before. I think I have. In fact, I've used these in many of my education programs as well. Very easy to make with all the materials you have at home. Yeah, now this I had to get. I did have to get this. Although I always have it at home, but by, when I decide I need it, I don't usually have it. Notice, Kim, that I am not going to make the mistake of cutting this too little. I am going to cut this plenty bigger because I have to make my screening fabric fit into this. Right. Now, Kim and I... Can I help? Yeah. If you will just... Don't get... And I won't let Kim to get too close to me. Close. Now she's back up. There we go. I just have to... Yeah, you just hold that. That is actually very helpful. Then we're gonna see if I did a good job on measuring. Looks like I might be a little small. Let's see, we gotta lay this in here. And I got it a little small, but I think it's gonna work just right. So do you see how I have put, I've just put that screen right in the bottom of the pop bottle. It's going over the smaller of the two rectangular openings. Now, I'm gonna take some of my clear tape. This is the one I brought from home. And that bird is really, you might not think that a wild bird is a conservation helper to me today, but that bird is helping me because it's keeping me so cheered. I am cheered by that bird's beautiful voice. They always give you these little... All right. I am just going to cut this now. Softly. These things happen. Thank you, Miss Kim. Yeah. And, whoa, it's totally undone. It undone itself. It undid itself. All right, so, I am gonna get this bad boy in there. Get it laid in there and then get away from me. <laughs> we gotta be carbon sensitive and we wanna be. You know, Absolutely. we really appreciate, we are we are state employees and we have to be sensitive to this. We have a governor who is set up, who is following good guidelines and is encouraging us to be careful so that Oklahoma can get back rolling as normal as soon as possible. I'm sorry, Kim, you just did it and I undid it. <laughs> But this will just show you that if you wrestle around with this a little bit, it's not going to be that big a deal. So, here I go. I bought this glue at, at, um, just a, I think it was Atwoods or Tractor Supply. And to be honest, it's called Liquid Nails. There's a glue called E6000 or something like that. And that's the glue I really like. Can you use like Gorilla Glue or? Well, you don't want to use Elmer's and you don't want to use Mod Podge because this gets too wet for those kinds of glues. So this is really hard to get it out of the tube, but I did it. And now, and I also want to point out that I put Vaseline around the top of this so that it won't glue itself to the bottle because I've had that happen before. Really frustrating. So, where here's my tape. Now that I've got the glue in there and on there, I actually will put the tape over that glue so I can press it in. And then I fold my little piece of tape over that side. And I'm gonna do that where did my other piece of tape go? I thought I cut two. Well, here it is. Let me do it again. Get ready. 
quite a screechy sound. So, get my tag. And I go to the other side. And I put this over the glue, over the screen. And then I see I cut it a little too short. So I'm gonna get my other piece of tape. And so there we go. I have taped it. I have glued the screen. I have taped the screen. And now the hard part of this has been completed. I'm gonna use one more piece of tape. One more piece of tape. Because I got a splat of glue, I did not get tape down. So what we now have is we have the runoff model is completed. All it lacks now is to have land of some type put in it. And this model is going to be left sitting to dry, that glue to dry, because that's glue is what keeps our fabric, screen fabric in place because there's going to be a clump of land sitting in here. So, these two are already completed. The, and I leave the lids on I, until I'm using it. I just like, I, I just, I'm not sure that it adds any stability, but in case it does, I like to have that there. But here is my completed one that has gotten to dry all night. So we can take this piece of land and we can walk over into this forested area and remove just a small piece of the earth and then we can learn something about how a forested area reacts to rainfall.